Hello and welcome to Baloney Sandwich. I'm your host, Michael Riley. With me is Dane Forgione. Um, I thought you were Michael Wolf, and I am clearly Dane also. So you're <laughs> you're, you're yeah, keep you're it, the ball. Keep keeping it going from the last episode, huh? All right, keeping keeping the joke alive. Keeping the joke alive. Yeah. Wah, 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 wah. Christ, we freedom. Cry for me. Oh. So. Oh, oh, oh. Spider Man, no. Oh, he, oh. Oh. Okay, he's dead. Never mind. Shooting at the balls and balls, 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 balls. Ooh. A bridge. Ah, that sucks. Where be my baloney? There we go. Okay, well, I guess I'm going to go... Fuck myself? Fuck myself, yeah. So I'm going to go down uh, this way, I suppose. Ooh, that's weird. What a mechanism. Hmm. The Horn of Summoning, or Conjuring. Conjuring something. Two dogs. That were just really out of control. Yeah. There's nothing. Anybody gonna. Anybody gonna keep, get those dogs on a leash or. What? What? Hey. Oh, oh the, the knight killed the dog! What a Ooh. fucking asshole! Who kills a dog, honestly? Uh, that knight did. And he paid dearly with his life. You should with... not have done this, Mr. Knight. Mm -mm. There's one thing we don't like. It's violence against animals. Ooh. Especially dogs. Are you okay? All right. Yeah. Why? Well, what makes you think otherwise? Because he just keeps dying, <laughs> animating his dying animation over and over again. I'm glad. Maybe, I'm maybe glad I am glad you can't hear this because it's annoying as shit. <laughs> he keeps going. Oh! 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 <laughs> I'm just like, sir, sir, you're dead. Stop it. Oh, oh sir, my Lord. sir, please. Sir, please, with the herpes. You got the surplus of the herpes. Stop it. Must have busted with the ladies. Gotta bust a bust up with the ladies. Don't have the herpes. Gonna get the kimpies, himpies. My favorite show is Ren Stimpy. But John K likes the ladies, but only if they're 13. Oh. Uh. Oh. <laughs> it's true. Yeah, it is true. It's it's still growing. It just sounds it just sounds worse when it's in a rap form. Yeah, 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 it's true. Something you don't like to think about, but God damn it, it happened. Things that make you go... <laughs> Things that make you go... <laughs> Things that make you go... Fuck! What? 
go up these stairs alone and in pairs and roll over the neighbor's dog. Oh no. You still dying, dude? My god. He's been dying for the last five minutes. When does it end, sir? Pentagram of Protec. Help me. Just need. Oh, down. Oh, I see. Fuck you, you stupid scrag. All right. Okay. Next order of business. Uh, Where am I going? Uh, oh, nope. Apparently not there. Going here? Is this where I go? Aha. Aha. Mm -hmm. Aha. Progress. Good. The opposite of Congress. Progress. Mm-hmm. A door has opened. Something, somewhere. Somehow, in some way. Oh, it's this door. Yo. The fuck? Mm. Eh, eh. Let, let me out of this. Holy shit. Oh, that was the end of episode two of Scourge at Armagon. Nice. After destroying okay. the power generator, you pass beyond the gate of Mortem's Keep. A wave of nausea suddenly flows over you, and you discover you're pregnant. No. You find yourself cast out into a liquid void. That just sounds unappealing. Liquid. It sounds like shit. Yeah, liquid void. That's what I do every morning when I wake up. You float lifelessly yet aware in a lavender sea of energy. That's it? Am I just gonna okay, well. Just floating through the void forever? Pretty sure there's a third episode to this. I'm pretty sure we're almost done with this particular add-on. Oh, wait a minute. After what seems like an eternity, you feel the presence of a diabolical intelligence. You are held helpless for a moment as your mind is open to that of Armagon. Quake's general and master of this realm. Recognizing that you as the only one who foiled his attempt to conquer Earth, a hellish howl fills your mind and blots uh, out all consciousness. When you awake, you find yourself on the shores of reality but in a time and place unknown to you. <sighs> Sounds great. Sounds great, babe. All right, well, I guess let's continue this. Tur Torment. All right. Mama, 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 moo. I think of what that song is by the breeders that kind of starts like that. Is it Cannonball, maybe? Uh, 
I, I boom, 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 boom. Something. Something. Well, there's that like that humming towards the beginning. Yeah, that's that's what I was trying to replicate. Yeah. Is that cannonball? Yes. Yeah, it is. Okay. From their seminal second album, Less Splash. Yes. Did you ever listen to The Breeders? I've only ever heard that one song. That's basically the song they they were known for. Um, isn't one of the members of that band formerly in the Pixies? Uh, I don't know. I, I, I well, for, yeah, Kim Deal. That's Kim the, Deal. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's what I thought. Yeah. So I've heard the Pixies. I, I've I've listened to the Pixies, like quite a few of their songs, but I've I've only ever heard the one Cannonball, uh, one Breeders song. Here so. comes your man. Slice it up, eyeballs, yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. Don't know about you, but I am one chicken Andalusia. I am on chicken and the lost <laughs> Um Listen, Black Francis, I'm gonna need you to relax. Yeah. I believe that was the lead singer. Yeah. I I think so. He really wanted to slice up eyeballs, what can you say? That's right. There is a wait so long. So long, so long. Here comes your man. Here comes your man. From their third, their seminal third album, Doolittle. Mm, yes, Doolittle. Which also has the cracking good time known as Monkey Gone to Heaven. I think that might be my favorite Pixie song. Monkey Gone to Heaven? This monkey's gone to heaven! I don't know why I turned into a Muppet there, but I did. Shit happens. And then you die. Yep, and then you die. Still trying to get a piece of that apple pie. <laughs> Kill the night before the platform gets here, preferably. There we go. Away we go. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. I don't like when you give me salad. Makes my arteries clog. Salad makes your arteries clog? I don't... I need those juicy hamburgers. Um, okay. I mean, yeah, hamburgers are juicy, but I'm, I'm still kind of stuck on that whole salad clogging the arteries thing. Mmm, yeah. <laughs> I don't really have a follow-up to that, unfortunately. <laughs> yes. On my penultimate summer, I sat on a hot dog. I proceeded to get Here. busy. Um, making more hot dogs. 
Can we can we go back to that sitting on the hot dog part? Sure, it felt felt pretty good to me. Oh. Your pen ultimate summer. So you mean like a year later you died? <laughs> yeah. I am oh. I am in fact dead at this moment. She In the movie, Faces of Death, a lot of the stuff there was fake. <laughs> I don't know why you're laughing. That's an established fact. For a movie called Faces of Death, not a lot of people actually died. Motherfucking died. God, I remember when that when that quote unquote documentary was like one of those movies talked about in hushed tones for all the young cinemaphiles. And then you finally watch it years later and you're like, that's it? That's what people were talking about? This movie's bullshit. In the movie ABCs of Death, there's a woman who's a ninja and she's got a gigantic penis. Uh, what? That's pretty much what I said when I saw it the first time. A, mo a woman with a big old wig. Yeah. Like comically large. I'm like, we're talking the penis is half the size of her body. It's insanely uh, large. Whoa. That movie was so fucked up. The sequel's not much better. They're both... They're both really In good. the movie! ABC's of death! There's a section called F is for fart. That is true. That is... Absolutely true. And in the end, it, do, it, it doesn't even girl's... it doesn't even matter. <laughs> and at the end of the segment, it literally ends with two women making out. No, really, yeah. watch the movie. Oh. That's exactly what happened. I I, I have seen. That is definitely a thing that happens. Now I gotta figure out which one of these um, segments has that, what you just talked about, because that is. I feel like it's interesting. near the end. Because some of the segments aren't aren't very long at all. They're like a few minutes, and some of them are like quite long, quite long, <laughs> quite long, like the wheel. Gilligilberg dergen bargen dergen. Where the fuck am I supposed to go? I know I need the silver key. I don't have it. I am missing a key. Good God, this... ABC's a dead... Then these people who made these uh, short films... Kind of, kind of crazy. Yep. Uh, okay, it seems like it was actually the very last segment. Z is for Zetsu Metsu? Yes. Don't know what that means. Oh, apparently I guess it means extinction. 
I guess. Uh, what the hell's going on? <laughs> it was so good, it spawned a sequel. Yeah, it did. ABCs of Death 2. Mm -hmm. Also, uh, a, uh, a, a spin off called ABCs of Death 2 and a half. Interesting. I didn't even know about that one. Well, the apparently the plot is 26 audition films for the letter M. Just the letter M. Okay. Yeah, apparently these were 26 out of over 500 entries to see who would get a spot in ABCs of Death 2. So, yeah. Interesting. So it should just be called the M's of death, I feel. <laughs> the M's of death. Yeah, if it's just the letter M. I guess. I piss. <laughs> I piss and I kiss. And I kiss my sweetie with my fist. <laughs> oh, no. Oh no, don't do that. That's how I show that's how I show her I love her with a fist with a fist kiss. This fist, this fist. Sub oh. Subliminal. Somehow Somehow I think that song would, would not hit the same way, pardon the expression. If it was called this fist. That is fair. You hit it with a hammer. I did. Oh, uh, I have a Shambler buddy. Oh, hey, Shambler buddy. <laughs> Too bad he's... The wind-up for his punch is very slow. But then again, Shambler. Come on, Shambler. Come on, Shambler, do your thing. There you go. Hurrah. How what can you tell how, how much... What an actually helpful buddy. <laughs> how can you tell how much health they have? You can't. It's probably whatever whatever health uh, they normally have, but I, I I never fucking bothered to learn. Ch Chambler, little help. Sequence completed. Hooray! Oh Jesus! Oh, Mary and Joseph. Leap into the exit below. Okay. I did that. Right, there you go. <coughs> there we go. Give. Give Abu Dhabi. Abu Dhabi. Abu Dhabi. That's where normal goes. Hey, it is true. <laughs> you. There you go. See ya. Why are you calling yourself a bitch? Had a feeling that was a secret. <laughs> oh, let me back out. Please don't cry. These sounds fall into my these sounds. Dee 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 sounds doom. These sound <laughs> these sounds doing. 
these sounds doing to my mind. You know, I've mentioned this before, but I think the funniest part about that was the fact that you were unable to speak during that recording and all I heard was just your muttly laugh. God damn it, get out of the fucking lava. Get, I, get fly, fly. I fly. I had fly on. There we go. Oh. Oh, this is obnoxious. He sounds pooping through my mind. D D D D sounds. I wanna praise you like a should. <laughs> <laughs> oh god damn it. Hi, what... what was going on with Fat Boy Slim that day? I don't know. Not either. Crunch. Great cereal. Well, it's true. Well, it's true. Yes. Since Mike, um, well, rather, since Ashley, Jace, and Billy are not here, I will be filling in for all of them. Okay. So. <clears throat> uh, Michael. I, I, I'm proud of you, homie. You, 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 you're beating the level in Quake, and I'm so happy for you. Look, I know I said that I wanted to diddle Hitler's bits, but just... Uh, no. So, uh, I was just reading this article, <laughs> and, uh... It turns out that the Boston Red Sox are from Massachusetts. <laughs> yep. Discuss. <laughs> yep. Ha, I'm Billy Carter. <laughs> I have you know I lost 110 pounds. 10 pounds? I, I'm sorry, I have to go. My dog's cousin's brother is here. Your dog's cousin's brother. <laughs> I gotta go take out the trash. It's gonna take me an hour. Yeah. I have to walk to the landfill. <laughs> you know, while I'm at it, let's let's get the others in here. Uh, hey, Orzy Adam. Guys, guys, I'm not even joking. Uh, I was in a music video where I made out with somebody hardcore. Also, uh, you might hear the Aussies in the background. Sorry about uh, that. That's right. Uh, I'm Mark Mom. Gledhill. I'm glad to be here. Uh, yeah. uh, Mike, 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 that's that. Nice. Don't, don't, don't. That's insufferable. Mike, please stop. Also, my mother sounds vaguely British. Also, here's all the cheats I could find for this game. Yeah. Mike, I donated five hundred dollars to you, so um, you're my bitch now. <laughs> oh no! Oh no! It's Ricardo. Oh no! At the... Hey, Ricardo. Yes, Dane. Did you know that they're making a cartoon uh, on Netflix of Chesparito? What? That's crazy. <laughs> Wow, I did, I did that whole conversation by myself. <laughs> it's true. Oh, hey, look, there's Michelle Light. I'm a precious little baby. You know, a bob omb boo -bellion. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, hey, look, it's Jeremy Garcia. Arr, I'm untalented and not funny and stupid. Arr. 
I'm oh. a fucking loser. Okay, that's great, Dane. But are you going to start doing your impression of Jeremy Garcia? <laughs> Oh, okay. Here's my impression of Jeremy Garcia. <laughs> Pretty much, actually. Ah, <laughs> uh, he was such a fucking waste of space. Yeesh. I'm, I don't give a shit. I would tell him to his fucking face. He did flake out on us on a bunch of th- things and it didn't even bother to say goodbye or anything it's just like stop showing up yeah he thought if he screamed everything it would make things funnier you know uh who else who else was there that we can do an impression of um hi i'm chelsea look i'm very uh beautiful Mm. Okay. Yeah. Are you gonna? Well, she was. She was. Yeah. I'm I mean, not... she still is. <laughs> I I I used to be pretty. I still am, but I used to too. It'd be. <laughs> um. Hmm. I think that was just about everybody. Any. Anyway, uh, jiggle, jiggle, jiggle. Because she did do that a lot. Listen, my money don't jiggle jiggle. It folds. <laughs> Something like that. Something like that. So is that everybody then? Have we have we covered all, um, all the... All, all the, the people. All, all the things. Hi, I'm Randolph Vance. Uh, I was also not funny. Uh, I was a 50-year-old man who was living with 20-year-olds. That was that was pretty fucking weird. Uh, <laughs> from what I understand, his life has gotten exponentially shitty. So I'm not even going to touch really? it. Yeah. So I'm not even. Gonna oh, touch, dear. So I'm not even going to touch that anymore. <laughs> I can't even. I can't even imagine. But I, I won't even. I don't even want to know. Well, let me put it this way: him and Sam, I keep in contact with their other roommate mm-hmm. on Facebook, and uh, the things that she said about. Well, she used to date Sam, and Randolph just happened to be a right. roommate. But the things that she said about him and and Randolph are just, yeah. I, I I would be good just never talking about them again at this point. They're they're both insufferable. And they're pieces of garbage. And I regret ever meeting them. So I'm just I'm good, honestly. They're not even worth making fun of, in my opinion. I mean, this is probably not a secret, but I never liked Randolph. I always I... thought he was in yeah, I never, I never, I never thought that was a secret. <laughs> I thought he was incredibly condescending, obnoxious, and not funny. Correct. And it's like, oh boy, you ran for Congress once, or whatever fucking thing you did, and you lost. Congratulations. Like, holy shit. Yeah. Oh man. Hi, uh, Josh Hadley here. Um, Fuck him. Yeah, I'm a felon. Mm-hmm. I said I would kill the president, and uh, you probably shouldn't do that. Yeah. Hello, I'm Brad Jones. I am still doing movie reviews, although I am in my mid forties now. And uh, what is that? All my friends, all of my friends, have turned their backs on me because, well, they're stupid. I uh, guess I just ran with a large group of idiots. 
And you know what? I'm better off without them. I'm Brad I Jones. Gonna... Yeah. Oh, I'm a Brody Brenner. Wow. <laughs> oh, First of all, it's Blody Blenick. Just say. So you know. <laughs> oh, right, of course. <laughs> That's so fucked. <laughs> oh, man. I, I, I have a suspicion that if, if, if he would laugh at that joke. He probably but... would have, yeah. Uh, hey, uh, uh, oh, this is Adam Winkleman. <laughs> uh, Why did he sound like Jennifer Coolidge? <laughs> I'm Wait, Adam Winkleman. I'm Adam, I'm Adam Winkleman, and I need a hot dog real bad. <laughs> Honestly, whenever, whenever Winkleman was drunk, which was a good portion. <laughs> That's of the time, a lot, yeah. He kind of had that that Jennifer Coolidge cadence, like, ah, oh, ah, oh, Jane, did I wake you? Well, considering I was dead asleep, and it's three o'clock in the fucking morning. I yes, would say did. yes. Yes, you did. <laughs> oh, okay. Well, you, you're a good. You're a good man. You're a good man. I, I, I'm gonna let you go back to sleep. Damn! I'm Mike Silvestri. Damn. <laughs> okay. I mean, he was annoying, but he wasn't as he wasn't to the levels of like uh, Randall Vance. I'm sure Michelle uh, regrets introducing us to him. <laughs> mm. okay. I'll be honest; they probably haven't talked in forever, not since Michelle got married. That's right, Peter. She did get married. Yes, she did. Hi guys, it's me, bro step. God <laughs> fucking just I don't know, I don't know, I don't understand. I'm Brosef's ex Anna. Look at my boobs, here you go. Have fun. Oh they broke up? Yeah. <sighs> Took long enough. Jesus. I mean Look at Brosa. He was annoying and insufferable and call, call, call me on Skype so I can flash you my boobs for the hundredth time. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I'm not complaining. They were very nice. But at the same time, <laughs> it was a little awkward. <clears throat> Considering, you know... Bleh. Considering Brosif was in the room. <laughs> She's like, I'm getting naked. Do, 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 do. Okay, and babe. If you, if you say so. All right. Okay. From what I understand, she has moved back to Las Vegas, so. Okay. So, yeah, she is nowhere near here anymore. Oh, well. Yep. Shit happens. And then you die. And then you die. And then you wake up and then you die again. And then you wake up and then you there's die. There's a lot of... There's a lot of people who are on the mental gas where it's like, Who? What? Who, you, who's this person? Did you, what'd you do, bring up the mental cast wiki? Yeah, because it's it's still it's still up, it's still around, even though we haven't done the show in six years. Mm. I have, I have considered here and there, thinking about maybe possibly bringing the show back, but I don't know if it would work as well now. Is the thing, especially eh. since it would just be like maybe the three or two, three or four of us that are on this show. I was going to say, it would be a very small cast. 
Yeah. That's like, you know, like a, we, we kept trying to revive You Can't Be Serious and we keep hitting lulls in that. But, you know, we would need to get some more, some new blood. Yeah, I was just say it's a, it's unfortunate because it's like we don't we don't really know a lot of people unfortunately that want to do the show anymore. So. Mm-hmm. Yeah, hi, I'm. Uh, what the fuck is my name? Lewis Lovehog. Oh t- Jesus. Zad Gooks. <laughs> Still one of the funniest moments in You Can't Be Serious history. That that legitimately threw me for a loop for a second. Zad Gooks. Like, oh my. I'm just glad Brody wasn't there. <laughs> the fuck you say? I was gonna say, he might have gotten offended by that. <laughs> No, no, I swear, I, I, I didn't see mean that shit. Fuck, cock. See, I do swear a lot. <laughs> shit, oh, shit. My ex girlfriend had a penis. I mean, you're not wrong. This is gonna be the episode that everybody just decides to tune into. Like, is that what you all think of us? Yep. That is exactly what's gonna happen too. All our former, all the former cast members tune in to, to watch this episode, and they're like, "Oh no, they need to make a fun of us." I feel like some of them would have an okay, okay attitude about it. Yeah, you could. I can kind of gauge who would laugh versus who would be like, "Oh fuck you, Dave, you asshole!" Yeah. The people who stuck with us the longest will be the ones that are the most understanding, I feel. Uh, Ozzy Adam, Ricardo. Oh, no. They, they would get it. It's true. It's true. Guys, I want you to play. Plumbers don't wear ties for my birthday. <laughs> One of the few cast members of uh, You Can't Be Serious that I've seen completely naked. That's for shizzles. Mm-hmm. Of course, it's, it was kind of hard to avoid when, you know, you were at, uh, when I was one of her Twitter followers. When I used that godforsaken platform. I don't anymore, but... But yeah, you never you never know what what you might find when you get on that Twitter and you're just, you're one of her followers. Suddenly, a picture pops up of her just squatting on a counter with her dick out. I'm just like, all right, cool. Cool, 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 cool. Wasn't, yeah, ex- yeah, wasn't cool. expecting a face full of tits and dick today, but that's you know, I guess that's on the uh, agenda. That's a, yeah, you know, I number one, wake up. Number two, eat breakfast. Number three, get a face full of tits and wiener. Yeah. And I and I get it. She's a porn star. That's just a thing that happens. But like, it's just listen, like, she's she's the most looked up porn star in the Vatican. It's true. The Pope jacks off exclusively to her. Oh, oh yes. Hello, my son. Uh, uh, the the Pope needs uh, quiet time. Excuse me. And it's not even. I would feel it. I. I I feel like it's not even her nudity it, it, that phases me at this point. It's just like, eh. It's just like seeing it unexpectedly. It's just like, oh, okay. Yeah, whoa, oh, okay. It's like, okay, we're doing this, huh? All right. Oh, so this is going to be the thing now, huh? <laughs> I feel like she's one of the few people I know... That if we were both sitting in the room and we were both naked, it would be no less uncomfortable than it was already. <laughs> By which I mean not at all. Okay. I feel like it would not change much. 
just because I'm so used to seeing her without clothes at this point that it's just like it's second nature at this point. I mean, I saw you have naked, so... It's true. You've seen my ass. Yeah. I mean, what it's are friends for? Fun. If not to see to the death. That's right. Seven asses. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven asses. All God's children go to heaven. At least I hope. Anyway. Hulk Hogan what? Sure. Sure. Married a 45-year-old woman what? <sighs> he did. He did do that. Recently. Yes. Yes, I know. Yeah. And when you know it, she's still half his age. <laughs> oh, no! I mean, he's 70. Come on, now. Come on, I mean. At what point do... At what point do we no longer consider the age gap ick? Is it when it's like a 70-year-old dating a 45-year-old because they're both... They've both been adults forever at that point, and it's just like, it's whatever, who cares? They've both lived yeah, lives. Yeah, I would say so. Is that mm -hmm. when we just like, okay, so yeah, there's a 35-year age difference, but really, who gives a shit at this point? 20, 25-year age difference. I can do math. I mean, once you get to that point, it's like, okay, it's kind of weird, but... Now, if he was 45 and that would, ma and that would have made her like 20, then I'd, then I could see a problem with it. Yeah, that would be kind of... That would be ick. Right. Legal, but ick. But ick. But ick. God, what are we going to name this episode now? I don't know. I, I don't know. I'm still trying to figure that out myself. <laughs> My seal. My boots. Got a baby to a kiss from a rose on the way. The more good of you, the stranger it feels in my. Butt. Yeah! Now that your rose is in blue, a lot of right gloom on the gray. Man, this, this song was in a motherfucking Batman movie. Truth. In fact, the music video for the song is uh, it includes scenes from that Batman movie, uh, which yeah. which tonally makes no sense. <laughs> there used to be a gray and tower alone on the sea, and then you see a shot of Batman just swooping in. That makes no fucking sense tonally. That's just uh, that's jarring. Does he look like a gray tower to you? No, he's the knight. <clears throat> Completely different. Oh, boy. Uh, oh, Lord. Hey, everybody. Have Just you, remember. Have you seen my balls? They're big and salty and brown. <laughs> remember, everybody. The Batman and Robin, the main song, was by R. Kelly. Oh. It was called Gotham City. In parentheses, I'm going to pee on you. <laughs> I mean, they, listen, they had, if it's the choice between a fucking... R. Kelly song and the end is the beginning is the end. <laughs> Where does that sentence Which start? Was... The end is the beginning is the end is the beginning is the end is the beginning is the end is the beginning. No, man. That's no. a Smashing Pumpkin. It's a Smashing Pumpkin song, man. Oh. You didn't know that? Did you know that he owns the NWA? <laughs> Not the wrestling company, the rap group? Rap group? <laughs> That's huh. callbacks. Hey, one of those. Uh, <laughs> oh, no, great, I Mike. don't know. I'm an actor and I've never gotten one. 
That's great, Michael Wolf. Thanks. Thank you, Dane, also. Uh, Am I just going to use that as my stage name now? Am I just going to be Michael Wolf from this point forward? <laughs> uh, that's that's up to you, man. I don't, I, don't know. I, I don't. I don't own your life. I don't own your kids. Oh, this feels real final boss levelly. It's, it's giving years. me all the. It's giving me all these weaponry. My power, Whoops. my pleasure, my pain. Baby, I can pay you to a bad the boot of my feet to it and bad. What? Huh? Gordon, Gordon, Gordon. I made you out of clay. <coughs> Gordon, Gordon, Gordon. All right. If I can beat this level pretty quickly and it's the end of this episode, that would be awesome. Whoop. Ew, there's so much blood. <laughs> oh, look at all the blood. All the blood. It's, it's fucking everywhere. Grease me up, woman! What? Go up. You were supposed to go up. I don't know why you stopped. I'll take that. Well... Give me a second to unfuck myself here. Ooh. Okay. 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 Ooh, the turnings of the screws. A barrier has been lowered. I wonder what barrier that is. I don't know. I guess we'll find out. Yeah. I don't have that key. I must yeah. go this way. Oh, for oh. God's sakes. My power, my pleasure, my pain. Baby, to be your Bible dooba dooba nooma 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 Mmm. To me, you're like a Newman, Newman, Newman. Hello, Jerry. I like the noises those things make. That's unsettling. I don't like that the scorpions sound like cats. I hit one with the rocket and went I mean it's a no it's sense. quake what, it's quake what did you expect it is uh, the quack -y. they should all sound like ducks then it's the quacky I heated this a button and it opens a debt perfect oh boy Anyway. Anywho.
Mm. 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 Oh. 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 Stop it. Oh. No. Oh, God. Chambler Wiener right in my face. Oh, no, God. Gary Shandling's Wiener right in my face. It's Gary Shandling's Wiener. This is the theme to Gary's Wiener. The theme to Gary's Wiener. Gary called me up and said, Hey, can you sing to my Wiener? <laughs> And then I said, what the fuck? Why would you want me to do that, man? So here's the theme to Gary Shanley's wiener. I like that it just goes right to that. It's like, why would you want me to do that? And then suddenly here's the theme. Well, the theme exists, so you he must have convinced you to do it. Do a do a A do 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 a Life was better in time, life was better in balls. Cause mental fresh was all night. You can Nothing do illegal me. things as long as you hold up a bottle of mentos. <laughs> or rather a up You can It's it's a bottle of mentos works to me, I don't know. You can kill a person, but if you hold up a thing of mentos, people will go, Oh you Armagon awaits. Sweet. Oh, 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 okay. <clears throat> oh, oh dear. Oh. All this shit that it's giving me, holy shit. This better be good. Um. The earthquake effect. Huh. Wow. Holy oh. shiznit. The f just looks like a. It just looks like a shambler with. Weird bird legs. And it is dead. Wow. That was really fucking underwhelming. So that's the end. I believe that's the end of the, uh, this expansion pack. There's still a couple uh, more to go. Okay. Mm-hmm. We will be starting those on the next episode because we're almost out of time. Wait. Hey, look, it's Quake Man. There he goes. Yep. Go on in there. Go on. There you go. After the last echoes of Armagon's death yell fade away, you breathe a heavy sigh of relief. <sighs> With the loss of his magic, Armagon's fortress begins to collapse. Uh oh. The rift he created to send his grisly troops through time slowly closes mm -hmm. and s seals itself forever. In the chaos that ensues, a wall collapses, revealing one remaining time portal. With your chances to escape rapidly growing slim, you race for the portal, mindless of your destination. In a flash of light, you find yourself back at Command HQ, safe and sound. You, close one. Congratulations, you are victorious. The minions of Quake have once again fallen before you. Your mighty hand job. Is this the last you will see of Quake's Hellions? Only Probably time not. will tell. Well, considering there's still a couple more expansions, I would say no. Yeah. Uh, let me see what the next one is. It should be... Dissolution of Eternity. These three will not take quite as long. <laughs> but that's what we that's where we are the next time that we uh, join ourselves here on Quake. Thank you for joining us for this edition of Backseat Gamer. If you like what we do, please hit subscribe and be sure to hit the bell to be notified of upcoming videos. For Dane also, I'm Michael Wolf saying see you next time on Backseat Gamer. Good night, everybody.